So now I'm going to show you how to hold the pad for your partner when he slips and there's an overhand left. It's not very commonly used, but if you're sparring with an opponent and they're quite long and tall and you're slipping, rolling, and they throw in a shot, they throw a jab, bang. There's your overhand right that we hold the pad for. But sometimes you slip and if you're slipping back, they throw a punch. Instead of having to slip and roll or slip and not throw anything, while you're slipping, you may as well throw your left hand at the same time. If you're going to slip and you're going to throw your right and you've slipped the wrong way and they throw in a shot, slip, throw your left, okay? So we're going to show you how to hold the pad for the overhand left. Okay, so again, if I was to throw this right cross, Ricardo could either stay on the spot or he could take a step out with his right leg, moving slightly off centre, elbows bent coming over with that right, that left, and that's what you do here. And again, so he's countering me. If I was to throw the jab, I'll put my right hand up. If I was to throw the jab and he slipped to his right again, maybe he slipped left, but as I caught him on the way, he slipped back to the opposite side, then he's going to throw that left again. Okay, so again, when you're holding the pad now for the left, instead of holding it like a hook, you hold it slightly back and slightly more of an angle, okay? So instead of too far in front, he's actually punching, instead of going this angle, it's coming round and it's sort of coming to the front of the face area, maybe to the nose or the chin or the cheek, okay? So instead of holding it out there, I'm going to hold it here at an angle. So Ricardo's going to stick, it's easier with a step, okay? So what he's going to do is he's going to step out with his right and then throw that left, okay? Nice and steady. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, we'll switch sides. And again, so normally I'd hold my hooks out here for the left hook, but for the overhand, instead of holding it there, I'm going to hold it here because it's closer, it's a longer shot, it's a longer range punch. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, back to centre. So now we put the overhand left as part of the combination for you. Okay. So, Ricardo, nice and slowly, is going to do a jab. He's going to do a half step with his cross. I'm going to throw the jab. He's going to step off centre and throw his overhand left. So you can just see how it would work, okay? So it'd be a jab, half step with the left. As I throw the cross, he steps off here. Once more, jab, cross, step off. So now we're gonna do it on the pads, okay? So it's jab, cross, as he steps off, throws it overhand right, okay? Overhand left, sorry. Again, jab, cross, step, good. And again. And again. Good. Three more times. Two more. And one more. Okay, let's change sides. And same again, jab, half step with the cross, step off line, overhands, okay? And as you notice, when he's throwing the hook, instead of throwing it this way, he turns it that way. So he's, it's almost as if his palm would be facing the floor and he's coming over and striking the first two knuckles. The reason being, if you throw it the conventional way like this and he was too far away, he would probably hit with his finger. So he turns it over slightly. So it's the first two knuckles, the middle finger and the index finger, those two knuckles are coming over and striking the center of the, of the target, okay? Again, jab, cross, step off, hook. Two more times. Now one more. Okay, thank you. So that's how to hold the pad for the overhand left as part of a combination. We're going to move backwards. Now. I move backwards, Ricardo moves forwards. Now. <laughs> 